It's been a week and I still haven't gotten those balloons out. I refuse because it makes me happy every time I open my my locker. So now I still just like kind of fit everything in. <laughs> I just get out whatever I need. And I just close my locker again. Look, they even like painted some stuff on here. It's pretty cool. Thanks, Luigi. No problem, bro. How is you not spiking my? No. No. <laughs> what, is it? What, what did you do, my boy? For the first time in my life, I hit the spike. Oh my gosh. Alessandro! <laughs> I haven't even said good morning guys, but good morning guys. It is now 11 o'clock. Time for a little bit of rings. Gotta get that rings up my boys. And besides just getting stronger, my hands also need to be like really a lot better because now it's just, it, I just get so much deductions from just my handstand being shitty. Still need to work on that a lot. All right, that was just for fun. Probably never gonna do that in the competition because you're supposed to do that with like straight arms. I mean, that's crazy, man. And if I ever get that strong, I will throw a big party. Okay, don't don't quote me on that. I don't I don't have room to give a party for 10,000 people. Oh shit, boys! I think there's about to be a battle between Tim and Luigi who can climb the rope the fastest. Wait, I'm gonna get my timer. I think Tim's gonna win. Tim's really fast. I sh I really suck at rope climbing. But Luigi thinks his chances are real. I don't think so. Tim versus Bram Luigi. They underestimate me. Yes, of they course we do. Amazing, well, you it's are. Bicep. Ah. Tim is not impressed. I am impressed with the pluck of hair on your back, though. Maybe you could win a competition with that. <laughs> but not with the rope climbing. Oh, Thank you, Bram. <laughs> All the way up to the blue. Blow on ticket. Yeah. Nee. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, he's going for the long strokes. It's all peace now. Ooh. I had the last pass actually moved, man. Acht, acht. Acht, acht? Echt? 8.8. That's fast. I don't know if Tim can actually beat that. Pretty fast. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? I think he will beat it, but I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope he will, because otherwise I'd be wrong. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Oh, 8.3! Congratulations, Tam! Thank you very much, Bram. You now deserve you. a story, a story. A story. A, a, a story in my shout out. Shout out in my story. Should I post it? Do you want me to post it now or when the video is posted? Um, probably when the video is posted. Yeah. So then it makes more sense. It's true. True, but true. You think you can beat so it, check right? my Instagram now and then check my story and then. Follow, follow the boy. Follow the boy on IG. Bram, you missed out on a shout out. I need a shout out. Oh no, you're already so famous. Woo, Kinama. Woo. Woo. Time for a little trick. Woo. It is time for the second training. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of high bar. Because I will probably do high bar again this weekend. Then the weekend after that, and after that, and after that. It's like now it's five weeks in a row I have competitions in Germany. I will explain the system in a future video. 
because it's pretty complicated, but those are really fun. I'm gonna do those with my boy Luke. We lost the previous one. We will probably lose the next one because it's with the team uh, with Bart. Like it's, it's pretty fun. A lot of Dutch gymnasts are actually competing in the Bundesliga for our team. We are competing for Oberhausen. So it's pretty fun to like compete against each other and stuff. So we will do that for the next coming weeks. Uh, five weeks of competitions. I'm, I'm doing floor, rings, vault and high bar. Really fun to like compete on rings again and high bar and vault and obviously floor. Uh, but now I'm gonna do some high bar. I'm not gonna really train any routines. Uh, this weekend my routine went pretty well. I just did a basic routine with a Yamawaki and a Coleman. Just keep it clean. But this weekend we might try something harder because we're gonna lose anyway. So why not have a little bit of more fun on the high bar? Hey, we are gonna start off with a little bit of flying. Just some Coleman timers for combinations again. Really need to get those combinations in my routine if I wanna be useful on high bar. Because I can't really do like the easy elements that everybody is doing that are um, like a little bit easier but are worth like still pretty much. I just need to do some high flying elements that are worth even more and then hopefully uh, hopefully I can catch those in combinations and stuff that's, that's like my game plan for high bar I'm, I'm just gonna like skip all the normal elements on high bar and just go for the flying oh man all these cold ones are going so hard I didn't even like do anything more than usual it just like goes over every time so I have to really pay attention that I tap early so I stay right above the bar Well, I finally do catch them again. It's still not like super consistent. Like when I was training in, in Montreal, my commons were so consistent. Every training that I did high bar, I did like uh, like four turns of two commons and I caught them all perfect for like a combination and now I'm back here and it's just like all over the place. So I think I just need to like adjust to this high bar again and this weirdo in my gym. And then it'll be fine again. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Kind of done with Goldmans. I think I'm just gonna do some catch-ups again. Marcel, Marcel, catch-ups? All right, catch-ups. Wow. <laughs> that last catch-up, man, I lost like all my sense of high bar bounce. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The first two ones were pretty good though. I just have to do like all of these elements just a bunch again to get the feeling for it again. Like I haven't done any catch-ups while I was in Montreal because it's pretty scary to do it there on the hard mats and stuff. Because if you fall, you fall pretty hard like on your stomach. So they don't want to risk anything with that. And just every element is just really different on another bar. <laughs> That's why I have to adjust so much uh, with the Coleman's now again. But it's all good. I just have to do a little bit with more dismounts. And then I uh, should be done again. Dismount competition between Bram Luigi and me. Uh, do you want that mat? For me, it's not necessary. Okay, no, no, I'm gonna get it away. You guys will have to vote. I'm gonna do a double double, I think. Gonna try it at least. And he's gonna do a full twisting double. Come on, Bram. Woo, that was pretty clean. I think that was one of the best dismounts of me yet. Like it was super straight. Yeah, but uh, oops, that was in the frame probably. My landing was not so good. <laughs> you do get a little bit of deduction for that. Let's see if I can do better. Pretty scared to do double double again, but we will see. Because I also did just full twisting double back on the competition, and double double is like a whole different, whole different game. I twist the same way as I do uh, in my full twisting, so I twist like super easy. While well, with double, you actually have to like more set and then just go all the way in. It's pretty different, but we'll try. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is pretty good. And then I saw where I was gonna land and I was like, ah, oh, no, this is a shoot. <laughs> and I have uh, another chance at it though. But you win this one. I give you a uh, other chance. Because I also had warm up for mine, so. Ah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, let me, let me see it. <laughs> oh, 
Are you afraid to hit the bar? Unconsciousness is afraid or something. It's pretty weird. <laughs> Screw this, I'm done. Man, jokes on me, I had to do another one. But this one was pretty good again. The tap was still was super early, but I managed to get it on my feet at least. Bij hem. Drie punten voor KTT Oberhausen. So we've calculated that this option is only two tenths less than doing the scissor to the middle, then a half turn, and then a half shivado, which is like, I don't know, seven more circles or something, and it's way harder. Uh, so this is only two tenths less. Probably will get less deduction, and it's easier, and it's less endurance, so try to go for this option. Uh, only like the scissor is like still super ugly. <sighs> pommels, pommels is hard guys, pommels, I don't know what our fix is gonna be for pommel horse but we definitely need to figure something out. We just like need to figure out an easy routine on pommel horse that I can just do. But I can't do, I can't do pommel horse guys, it's so hard. Ugh. And like if I manage to do an animate, it's super ugly. Look at this beast. Bram is also training the ring strength. <laughs> Marcel's also training ring strength. <laughs> we all just need to get like way stronger on rings. Apparatus break means we can do another Kendama trick. I get those goosebumps every time. Okay, that's gonna be the trick. I'm gonna go full turn lighthouse into, oh, into switch spike into whirlwind. Lighthouse? The whirlwind is tricky, guys. Oh. Oh. Need to do this quick because otherwise my trainer's gonna get mad. I think he does have a lot of patience with me. I'm getting annoyed with myself now too. Yeah! Now we can go do ring strength. Oh damn boys, this feels pretty strong. I don't know why. Usually on a Monday I'm not that strong. Usually like Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I'm getting stronger because like my body's getting used to like doing a lot again. But this morning I also did a little bit of ring power, so it might be because of that. Right now I'm just doing three sets of four um, like low rings to cross and then when I'm done with that I need to do some more Maltesis. Two sets of two times uh, like just from, from pike to Maltese and then back to pike and to Maltese. So two of those and that's it. Eventually we will build up those Maltesis but I think my body still needs to like adjust to the different positions and stuff. Like there are different joints being being worked that way, so it would be a very smart idea to just like start with five already. So heavy. Okay, we are doing another competition. This time it's for the worst Azarian. <laughs> oh, two Maltese. Sick. Yo, that might actually be easier for us. <laughs> because then you have to you don't have to push up as high. <laughs> or not. Oh. Okay, Nick. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who are you? I don't feel like I'm ever gonna be able to do this. It just feels so. I don't know. Impossible. Yeah, it's impossible, man. Oh. But I was best of all that. Nee, Zal ik even met de rechter arm maken? Wow, ook die pols gewoon goed, hè? Wow! Wow! 
I think this is actually the best one of all. Oh! <laughs> Dude, if you had my cross, you could have done this easy. That is, I think, as much as our little shoulders can handle today. Did they hurt already? No, you didn't do any crosses. Because you a fish. Do your shoulders hurt, Jermaine? My shoulder hurts chronically. No. He's a monster. My shoulder hurts chronically. Because you a little fish. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Ooh, I see food. Um, I think we're done trying. <laughs> Buy him. Um, do you want to play one more game of Ezele? Yeah. Jumaine? Ezele? Yeah. Sweet! Okay, we're gonna play one game of Ezele, which is like a football game. You have to kick the ball against the wall. If you miss the wall, then you get a letter. If you have four letters, then you are out of the game. And there are some more, more rules, like uh, you have to... Uh, touch the block uh, once you kick the ball against the wall and if the person behind you is faster with kicking the wall and then um, touching the block then you also get a letter and if you volley the ball from the wall into the wall again uh, then you lose a letter basically those are the rules Ooh, and I will live stream this on Instagram so you might have seen this already and then you will know who wins obviously me no probably not there's no winner there's only a loser <laughs> oh yeah, that's an extra rule. If you kick him against someone else, then he gets a letter and you lose a letter. Unfortunately, I didn't have any letters, but now I still don't have any. If you can spike it now, I'll give you 100 euros. No joke. Hey, we spike it in eight years, though. He ain't gonna make it anyways. Dude, if he makes this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a sad man. I'm gonna be a sad man. But he won't make it. Ah! Oh, yes! I got scared for a second, though. It's me, Luigi. Take over session one. We're done. If you're gonna take over the vlog, then at least do something cool. We're done with the training session. I was like animal. Not not like Bram, not like Bram, but I was quite good also. So now I'm waiting already like 10 minutes to go home, but Bram is playing Kendama with some other boy I do not know. But he is very, very, very skinny. Look at him! After four hours, we can finally go home. Thank you, Bram. Usually our training ends at like... 4.30. 4.30 or something. <laughs> it's 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's almost 6 now. <laughs> <laughs> Not really that efficient, but whatever. I don't know, where's, where's my home? Is it there or there? Oh no, that's girls. Okay, then it's probably here. Yeah. Ooh, yes, it was. Sweet, dude. What's that sound? Arr, already bread in the oven, already some noodles. Ooh, we are getting spoiled up in here. Wow, Bram, what an incredibly balanced meal. You must be a sportsman. Thank you. I agree. I think I definitely outdid myself with this one. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Guys, if you know a cool Netflix show to watch, please let me know in the comments because I'm in dire need for some entertainment. 
Guys, my numero uno tip for grocery shopping, at least in the Netherlands, is go like 20 minutes before the store closes because then a lot of products are percent off and then you have super cheap food. It will expire in like two days, but that's fine because I'll eat it in two days anyway, so then I have cheap food. Actually, I already did some grocery shopping like in between my training session, but I didn't get everything that I needed because I'm a dumbass and I forget stuff. So now we have everything we need and we can cook some food. Meat, mixed vegetables, tomato sauce, pasta with like cheesy stuff in there. It's gonna be pretty good stuff to wait a little bit before the pasta is ready. And then we have a nice meal. Hey guys, it is Shower Bram again doing the outro. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!